My name is Kimberly Armstrong. I'm a small business owner here in Maryland, and uh, we are an environmental sustainable development consulting firm. And we also have a component where we are looking at introducing an innovation in uh, tech biomedical technology as it relates to um, health disparities in minority communities. I was a little familiar with the patent um, program from just my own uh, research and uh, basic information. So I did a, a search on how to, uh, you know, develop patent and what's the process and what was, you know, where do I start and how, you know, even getting a patent filed. I found that they had a pro bono service program and um, it was a, a process that you had to go through in order to qualify. So I once again started doing my own research, made a couple of phone calls, um, and found out some of the things that I had to do in order to get the ball rolling. The process, it does ask you um, about your income level and your economic status, and you have to meet a certain requirement in order to even um, do the application. All of it's online. So you can, um, it's just a link that you click on and you fill out the application and someone will get back to you. The next step was like a tutorial. They actually, is like a little quiz that they um, ask you to go through so that you understand what the process is um, in actually filing the patent application as well as um, some of the other things that you will have to do in order to be um, accepted. And at the end, if you pass, you get a little nice certificate. After I was accepted into the program, um, maybe I would say between two to four weeks, someone from a law firm called me and gave me some more um, information on, you know, what was the next step and my expectation of them as well as the expectations from me, and they wanted to know a little bit more about the technology. You have to uh, sign an engagement letter. That's an agreement that they are gonna represent us, as well as, um, even though it's pro bono, there are some services, there are some fees that have to be paid. Um, and those, those fees are strictly for the patent office not so much for the um, law firm. Then there's also a um, disclosure form talking about the technology, uh, what's the novelty of it, what's the name of it, those kind of things. Once we did the disclosure form, um, they look at that and, you know, to determine, you know, what it is that we may need more information and to put everything that we can think about um, into the application so that it's, it's less room where it has to go back and forth. Um, so the company, well, the, uh, a law firm that I'm working with, they have been excellent. They have been tremendous in just helping us um, brainstorm and what else that we can put into the application so that there's more of a chance that it gets accepted almost the first time. You can't get better than free. I mean, or at least at minimum cost. Um, it, it's not costing me a lot of money to, you know, even for the um, fees, it's really not a lot. And we pay those up front. And if the process takes maybe a little bit longer, there may be some additional fees, but it still would be nothing compared to what I paid, in, you know, before.